Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, January 16, 2024. I pray that today will be a good day for you. I pray that the Lord will continue to watch over you and give you peace. Our reading today comes to us from Luke chapter 7, reading verses 1 to 10. And it says, now when he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. And a certain centurion servant who was there unto him was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. Verse 4, And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying, That he was worthy for whom he should do this. 5, For he loveth our nation, and he had built us a synagogue. Verse 6, Then Jesus went with them, and when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Verse 7 Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. Verse 8 for I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers, and I say unto one, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. Verses 9 When Jesus heard these saying, he marveled at him, and turned him about, and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. 10 and last, And they that were sent, returning to the house, found the servant whole that had been sick. And I say, Amen. We thank God for his word this morning and for the privilege to share in the scripture. Indeed, God is marvelous. God is a great God. And we are grateful for His healing power. We are grateful for His saving grace. And we are thankful that He made such great sacrifice for us so that we can be a part of His family. Now, the reading this morning is speaking to us about faith. It gives the story about the centurion, a leader of the synagogue. He was a man of authority. His servant was sick and he heard that Jesus was in town. And so he sent his servant to fetch Jesus or to call Jesus. Now, the servant was very sick and was about to die. So it was an urgent call. Now, the message reached to Jesus and Jesus was on his way to the centurion's house. Then word came again to Jesus. There is no need for him to come to the house because he know, the centurion know that Jesus was a man of authority and power. And so he said, all you need to do is to speak the word and my servant will be made whole because I am not worthy to be in your presence. I am not worthy for you to come at my house. And so I am sure if you speak the word that you can heal my servant and he can be whole. And Jesus was amazed by such, such a faith and this man wasn't even a Christian. And what was Jesus' response? Jesus said he has never found or he has not found so great faith among Israel or among those that such faith should have been found. And so 
I want to bring to our attention this morning that God expect us to have faith in him. The word of God says that without faith it is impossible to please God. And so we know that our faith it causes God to act in ways that we can we can't even fathom. If you want healing, ask God for healing. And when you ask him for healing, believe that you will receive according to his will. Don't doubt. If you want financial assistance, ask God. God can provide that financial assistance. Whatever your needs are, just put them before God. Not wavering, not doubting, believing and claiming it. Even before you see it, receive it. And remember that God is able to grant all your desire according to his will and his riches in glory. So not because you pray for something will always mean that you will get it. Because I know we are of that belief sometimes that because you ask for something, you must get it. But remember, God is a God of wisdom also. And so he will not give you something that is going to draw you away from him. He's not going to give you something that is going to cause you hurt. The word of God says what? The thoughts that he has towards us is good and not evil to prosper us and give us good health. And so when we ask him for anything, we just need to trust and believe that he will give us what we ask for as long as it is in accordance with his will. And so I pray that as we continue to look to him, our creator, our provider and our sustainer, our friend Jesus Christ, that we will continue to trust him, believe him, claim the promises, because God will surely deliver and he will deliver on time. Just like the centurion. The message said that when the, the, the servant went back home, the, the servant was already healed. Jesus healed the servant. So Jesus didn't bother to go to the house. Right? And so Jesus can heal you in your situation. Jesus can provide for you whatever your situation is. You just need to claim that blessing. Claim that promises. And I guarantee you that you will not be disappointed because God is a God of favor and love and he will do what he needs to do as it relates to his children. May God bless you. May God keep you as you continue to walk in the light. Amen.